Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. In this video, straight to the point, I would like to unbox with you the only Dooney and Burke item that I purchased um, close to the Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals that they had going on. So I have been doing good, showing restraint. Not just shopping because stuff is on sale and oh, that's cute. <laughs> but this one here, I'm like, it's not going to be buyer's remorse, but it's definitely one I don't have in my collection. And it's not one that I can say I can just walk into a Dooney and Burke outlet and hope they have it there so I can see the bag or go into an actual um, department store that carries this bag. So I was like, I fell in love with the bag just from seeing online, seeing videos from five years ago from when this bag was initially out. <laughs> so I said, you know what? It's shopping season all year round, but it was shopping season plus it was just in my favorite color. Price was right. So I said, add to cart. And now the box has arrived. And today is actually Wednesday, December 7th. And the box just came from Black Friday slash Cyber Monday shopping. So it took that long to get here, but the box is in excellent condition. So however long the journey took, the box did arrive safe and secure. <laughs> and this box is actually heavier than what I was expecting. I only ordered one item, so I know they didn't double up and send me two, or maybe there's like 50 stickers in here because they know they typically don't send them to me, <laughs> but this box is heavy. So first off, let me find, I'm going to open it upside down because, well, I can open it this way. Let me see, because I'm making sure my information isn't showing. So, there we go. <laughs> So, first off, like I said, is from Dooney and Burke, the brand, but I purchased it off of I Love Dooney. So, let's just see what I have here. was upside down so here you go this is my first time your first time and from the looks of this i'm already happy i'm very happy with the size because i was uncertain given the dimensions you know it can go either way with them <laughs> so and i did pull out some stuff i remember this time so i can kind of show what fits this is the dooney and burke side pocket hobo in the color red and in Florentine. So through the plastic, there is some slight texture on here. And being that this is my first time receiving a bag from this Florentine collection, I don't know if this is how they normally ship with you know, no other protection or whatever, but the bag is just in the bag. But the plastic is still on the handles, on the hardware. The tassels are still covered. This little brown packing slip is still in there. So everything looks to be good. So I'm just looking it over before I take it out. Okay, so the thought process of this was to get one in my favorite color first because I needed a red hobo. And I have a red MCM hobo, but I did not have a red Dooney hobo that was of this size and capacity. This is number 33 of 70, it says. And let's just jump right in. 
So as you can see, I believe this bag also was on QVC at one point, and it may still be on there. I'm not sure of what colors, but I knew either way, I wanted to start out with the color red. I was debating on natural because, you know, natural Florentine, but at some point I'm like, I love red, but then how many natural bags do I need? I could have a thousand red bags and I won't think that same concept, but even still, I have limited myself. <laughs> So this bag here is in the red Florentine leather. Here is the red logo plate. Here are the tassels. I'm not going to take these off because I know I'm not going to carry her just yet because I am currently in my leisure and I want to still rock it since you know the story behind that. <laughs> but definitely will be using this. So the features of this bag, hence the name side pocket hobo is because you have side pockets that was one thing that drew me to the bag now i'm hoping they will be functional pockets for me although i know my cell phone was not going in there but like um you know little grab and go stuff like your gum your real wipes um little stuff like that that you reach for all the time candy and stuff like that so just from that seems like it will be functional and then these little corners here, I don't know what it was, but that little just added flair, it just added something to the bag for me. It wasn't just a plain red hobo. So it's like those features there, it gave it a extra added look. And then the pockets on the side, it's not those pockets that look like the bag is flying away like it has wings. <laughs> so I love the whole design of the bag. And then the strap on here, let's see here. I don't know, y'all. I might have to move out of leisure and move into this because this is... Okay, so as I was researching, as you should do before you purchase any bag, I was looking at videos and then I was looking at reviews online about the bag. And then I saw the old QVC videos and looked at some videos where ladies had this bag and then some said they sold the bag. So the review really wasn't helpful because... I didn't know why they sold the bag, whether it was too heavy, just got tired of it, didn't like it. So I just kept scrolling and looked at other reviews. And then one particular statement stood out to me, but I can't remember if it was under a review or if it was under video. But someone stated it was close to the size of their Kingston Hobo. And y'all, I have been waiting on the Kingston Hobo to resurface in the color red and other colors <laughs> for some time now but this here i could kind of see why they said that because kingston is a phenomenal bag but maybe in their eyes the height and width of this bag was similar to kingston so it you know it reminded but it drew me in because i was like okay i have a kingston i love that so it just clicked with me and made me think okay it was like a confirmation. <laughs> so you have all Florentine logo patch tassels, two side pockets, both do snap open. This is the strap that I was going to show you before I start rambling. So it has that buckle closure there where it looks like it can be adjustable. Although I typically don't try to adjust anything. If it's perfect when it comes out of the packaging and the wrapper, keep it just like that. So there's that, and then it has this little feature here where you are supposed to be able to adjust it, but everybody I know says that this here is just extremely difficult to do and nobody wants to deal with it. I have never attempted to do one of these. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go grab the other bag. <laughs> so I have not attempted to remove one of these to try to adjust it, so... I really don't see another one where you could slide the adjustment in. So it'll stay that way anyway, but it's like that on both sides. But this here is adjustable. So let's just give it the test now. Easy on the shoulder, great up under the arm. So yes, so just because I have the other bag close by, let me just do a quick side by side to see where the statement came from. <laughs> this is the beautiful, look at that patina, y'all. 
Look at that. Look at that. This is the beautiful natural Kingston. Natural um, Kingston and natural Florentine. <laughs> look at this baby. Look, look at that patina. I love this bag. <laughs> so I'm going to see what the person possibly... I guess maybe because both of them have like the hobo style. Side by side. So almost the same height. And look at the straps. Because I know someone will probably ask, does Kingston have the same straps? So basically it's reversed. Kingston has the buckle strap up here and that little hard piece is down here to adjust it. The side pocket hobo has the buckle down here where you can adjust it versus having this piece up here that's not adjustable. So that might be something for some of you all that have to adjust your bags, but there you go. One has buckle at the bottom, one has buckle at the top. So I guess there are some similarities. Two different bags, not saying they're the same, not saying they're an alternative. Because if a red Kingston comes out tonight, I'll let your girl because I will still be purchasing it. <laughs> front of the bags this has pockets on the sides versus this has the two pockets in the front so and now the bottom of the bag and then I'll go on to the inside of the both have Kingston clearly is a little longer but both have a wide butt on the bottom so enough about Kingston because I fall in love and she'll get <laughs> into the rotation <laughs> so that was that little quick comparison because I know I would forget if someone was to ask to show the different features so at least it's all included. Here is the interior here. Here is my dust bag. Let me get out all the stuffing. Lots of stuffing <laughs> and about 10 silica packets. Oh, and you know what I just realized? I don't think I had a sticker in my box. <laughs> I had to go back and check. So here is the inside in this strap. If that gets in the way, you can lay it down like that. Move this out the way. So the red interior. Here is your red I mean, not the red, <laughs> the, what is, is it red? It's the brown logo plate. It looks red, kind of reddish brown, but there is the Dooney and Burt logo plate, the zipper pocket, and a slip pocket. So again, as Military Mom says, there's your standard Dooney setup with the zipper and the, the zip and slip. So, slip pocket here. Sorry if this is coming off dark. It's like an overcast today. On the opposite side, there is the two slip pockets. And you can see the key keeper dangling down here. Which comes in 99% of their bags. And what I will say, this bag, it has like a, not a broken in feel, but it's definitely not stiff. Like you see how I can do that already. So that's a good thing. I love the broken in vintage style feel. It's almost like this bag feels the way I have broken this bag in. <laughs> so it's definitely going to be a great carry. I'm super excited that I have it now because I was a little, little debatable about it because I had nothing really to go off of that was kind of current information. I know a lot of times you all say that they had bags back in the day, but we don't know if something really minor changed on the bag, if it's the same Florentine style. Some of you have said that the Florentine was different back in the day, whether it was thicker, smoother, didn't have flaws in it or whatever. So most of my collection is from the newer, um, well, I will say recent years because I, you know, just recently started collecting. So I have nothing from the older styles to compare it to buy, to compare it to so I wouldn't know if I had the older Florentine or the new Florentine <laughs> but this here definitely was out before there were a few videos like I say and then QVC's video is still on there and I think there was a pebbled leather version and then 
of course, the Florentine version. And so I knew I wanted this in the Florentine, not in Pebble. So I think I chose the perfect color, perfect one, and I'm loving it. And the fact that it's already like the broken in feel, I'm loving that. I don't like a stiff bag, so just look at that. Not saying that is anything wrong with that, but just for me, I'm loving that. So these side pockets, um, trying to think. I don't have anything that possibly would fit in there, but you know me and my lip balms and lip glosses. I could easily put some of those on this side. I could stick uh, tissues, face mask, or something like that on this side. My keys are too bulky to fit in these outside pockets, so keys won't fit for me. I don't carry just one key fob or one car key and one house key, so I have more keys that would not fit in here. On this interior here, like I say, it's red. I'm hoping that it shows. It's the typical red interior that if you have Dooney, then you know what I'm talking about. So it is red, and the green lining is literally only this thin strip that you see up here by the zipper pull on both sides. It's not that wide green suede strip that we're used to. But other than that, standard Dooney setup, key keeper, red interior. And now let's see what all can fit in this baby. Oh, let me give you... This is the back side of the strap. Top side and back side. So now, let's see. I have a, a puzzle book with a word search. I just chose random stuff just to show you what may fit. A Let's just do a Dooney first. I just picked up items. I know this doesn't match. This is the Fuchsia Florentine Large Zip Around Wristlet. So it is fuchsia. That was my wallet. That's what we're looking like in there. Hopefully this is not too dark. And then this here is a Coach Brit wristlet. If I was to use this as a catch-all, and again, this stuff does not match. I'm just trying to show you what may fit in there. Sorry, I had a message go across the screen. <laughs> so there's that. And then here is one of my coach pencil cases, of course, to protect my pens. Now, so far, the pencil case, the Brit wristlet, which would be the catch all, the large zip around fuchsia wallet is my wallet and the word search. To some, that's all they carry. To some, this is more than what they carry. So literally all that fits in there. And you see the way it's moving around. I definitely have room to spare. I still have the zipper and slip pocket the two slip pockets and then the outside pockets so just to show you if you didn't carry this type of wallet because say it's too big for you well let's just go with a dj king favorite <laughs> the <laughs> dunienberg tech top of course this will fit in here so all this fits and that was just replacing the wallet then say if you still don't use that type of wallet and you use a Coach Nolita, yes, that's going to go great with that red. You can put that in there. And I'm really hoping this is showing, but otherwise I'll just take pictures and try to add those. This here is a Coach, I want to say the Nolita 24 or something or large. I can't recall the name, but it's been shown on my channel several times as a grab-and-go piece. And I don't believe I have the name card. It's either the Nolita, Nolita, <laughs> Nolita 24 or Large. I don't believe it's a large wristlet. I want to say it's the Nolita 24. And to show you the difference, here's the regular Nolita. And then you have this. So it's a bigger one. This is Nolita 19. So I want to say this was the Nolita 24. It's more like a rectangle shape. I don't believe it was called a large wristlet because I don't. <laughs> but in case you're a big wallet person and you carry way more than normal, you could absolutely throw this in here. And just so you can see how it looks up against the red, this will go in here. You would have to angle it in there. Some of you may not like that, but to others, it doesn't bother them as long as they get it in the purse. 
and again it fits in there then if you're a small wallet person and may use the coach double zip wristlet this surely goes in there whether that's your cosmetic pouch or your catch-all so honestly all this stuff i have together will fit in here and of course those of us that have the coach poppy i have a lot of coach items because i feel a lot of us we do purchase a lot of coach accessories maybe just as evenly as we do Dooney and burke accessories but i know i have a plethora of coach accessories <laughs> so this would still coordinate i could use that as my wallet that goes in there just nicely so there's many options last but not least is one everyone may or may not have picked up this was that lexi wristlet that some of us took that middle strap out and just used this some still may have cut the whole strap off and put a chain strap on it but it was like dooney's version of the coach nolita this clearly would fit in here as well now granted i didn't cut that part of the strip off so you know it was a little sketchy trying to get it in but hey <laughs> so all that stuff fits in there i'm not going to pile it all in because honestly nobody's going to carry three no liters a brick wristlet a pencil pouch a poppy <laughs> and a large no 24 and a dooney burke tech top all together so it's like it wouldn't be an actual carry but overall this bag i would say would hold just as much as i would put in my kingston hobo and like i say everybody's not a big wallet person so surely if you carry a smaller wallet you can put your water bottle in here oh and the last item i forgot if you have the lv mm agenda the happy planner um mini happy planner this right here is the same size and i bought out the cover to the happy planner one just to show you if you are a planner person such as i and you carry your planner with you it goes in here vertically or you could put it in here laying down that also works in here so this in comparison to size it fits in there with room to spare either way so this here i am very happy with this purchase to show you how it looks when it's zipped it is like that and this strap here it may be in the way for some but as you saw i can lay it down that way or that way it won't lay all the way flat but it lays down enough to where i can get in the bag so not a problem for me and again i'm hoping the red interior shows up for you all but if you are a dooney person you already know the dooney red interior by now and the strip of green suede is right there and so again if you have the kingston hobo this is the closest hobo i have in comparison to this so i'm glad that person made that comment it really helped me out but to see it as a visual maybe will help you out as well so here you go and again the strap comparisons to see the difference one the buckle is at the top and that little piece of hardware is at the bottom and then vice versa on the other so my phone is about to cut off because i need to charge it but i wanted to film this because it just came today <laughs> and they are still having an amazing sale i need to check to see what colors are left in this because i could probably see getting getting another one not saying right now but just to see what other colors i believe it was navy black chestnut natural and the red but I feel like a few colors had disappeared. So either way, just wanted to share this with you. And again, mine feels like soft and like a broken in feel. I don't know if all the colors feel like that or if all the red ones will feel like that. I'm just telling you how mine feels. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm in love with this. So I'm so happy I got to share the experience with you. Again, Dooney and Burke side pocket hobo in the color red, Florentine leather, and again, it did have some weight to it because the box was heavier than what I thought, but it's not like a heavy, it's no different than the weight of the Kingston to me on my arm. So I'm in love. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.